Hi, this is Jeff Geske here with the Fits on the Go blog. I'm with one of the Improve It trialists, Dr. Giuliano. Thanks so much for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about the Improve It trial that was presented here at AHA 2014? Yes, great, and thanks for the opportunity to uh, speak on this uh, forum. So in Improve It was a large randomized clinical trial that compared azetamide plus simvastatin versus simvastatin alone in patients uh, with a recent acute coronary syndrome. They had to have had an ACS event within 10 days hospitalized for that. And we followed patients on average for six years. And uh, it was an important study because this is the first and maybe the only uh, trial where azetamide is going to be compared to placebo to determine uh, its impact on cardiovascular outcomes, clinical outcomes. Great. And what did the trial show? Well, the main findings in this trial were that uh, the addition of azetamide to potent statin therapy post-ACS reduced a composite of cardiovascular events by 6.4% relative, or 2% absolute. So the number needed to treat was about 50. And, uh, and that azetamide was very safe, you know, that as, as we look at the adverse events, whether it's cancer, raised LFTs, biliary type uh, uh, side effects, uh, or CK elevations, myopathy, all that was very similar between the groups, no differences. Wonderful. And how do you reconcile the Improve It study findings with current guideline recommendations for high intensity statins for secondary right. prevention? Yeah. Well, uh, continue on with the high intensity statin, for sure, particularly in your high risk patients post ACS. And then I would say, think about azetamide in a couple scenarios. Like if a patient has a very high baseline LDL to begin with, and you're not going to be able to get down low, maybe start azetamide up front, or, or an alternatively, start the high intensity statin and see where you are. Secondly, we've got patients who either can't tolerate high intensity statin or can't tolerate any statin. That might be a good patient to uh, use azetamide. And, and sometimes, you know, try the high intensity if they don't tolerate, then maybe lower the statin, add the azetamide. So we've got a couple of options. The other important point is that lower looks to be better, right? Even lower is even better. And uh, we pushed LDLs down to the 50 to 55 milligram per deciline range. And I think the guidelines are going to have to reconsider both a target and not only that, but pushing a target even lower than we've had in the past. Great food for thought. Any final words of advice that you'd provide to fellows who are maybe just kind of dipping their feet into research or who are yeah. looking to become successful in trials like you've been? Yeah. Well, you know, uh, uh, fellowship is an exciting time. It's a very tiring time, too. And, and it's a funny thing. When I'm post-call and really tired, I still sometimes start a note as cardiovascular fellow because that's what I associate <laughs> with being the most tired period in my <laughs> life. But look, if, you're, if you find this kind of work interesting, you like to work with data and numbers and, and randomized trials, and I would encourage you get involved in clinical trials that are being done in your hospital or your region. That's how I got my career started, and I never knew that I would be, you know, involved in large-scale trials like this, but it sure is a lot of fun. It's very interesting. You can really make a difference, and it's a wonderful opportunity for doing research. Well, thanks so much for joining us. If you want to check out more videos from AHA 2014, you can go to the Fits on the Go uh, website, which is at youtube.com slash fitsonthego.